Hello everyone, welcome back to Hexen where we are pulling a switch. Against our better judgement. See, I knew that was going to happen, so I turned around and legged it. Basically every sing single one of those you push, you get one of these and one of those. 182, I think that's not enough to make it worth getting more mana. I want to min-max the mana as much as possible because it seems to make some amount of sense. So we're here, so this is kind of where I want to be anyway. We've got the flame key, which I'm hoping is not going to release those Afrits upon me. But it's going to release this Afrits, these Afrits upon me, so Afrits is as Afrits does, I guess. I really love the, um, the life drain that you get there. So here's a switch that I'm scared of pulling. Oh, she's not it. Yeah, if I can bring it on. Try and hit me. We did actually lose more health than we gained doing that. It just doesn't... It's not really how I want this to work, to be quite honest with you. So this is where we were looking into just now. I love this as well. These bits just fall away. And turn into lava, which starts spitting uh, fireballs, which, when they hit you, hurt. Is this still available? No. Okie dokie. So we're stuck inside here. For now, at least. I guess we use the flame master. Oh, God. So that opened when we walked in, so we'll go in again. I believe this is like a small maze full of Afrits. Which is also not fun, because... I guess you can't fit in here, so I'm just going to hit you. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm also cognizant of the fact I'm probably going to be attacked from behind by an Afrit at some point. Unless that was it. In which case, bring it on, I guess. Yeah, nothing over there. This is a bit cheap, but this is how you play these games. You mean to take every advantage you can get to beat up them when they can't beat up you. And uh, also, somewhat hope for the best. All these torches are not on. I wonder if you can light them somehow. I honestly don't know. I'm literally scared of picking up anything in case. It's a trap right now. This game really does something to you, I tell you. I mean, the fact we could just pick this shit up and be happy with it, because what does a chaos device do? Uh, we now have the ability to heal ourselves with our weapon, which we already had, but I now remember that we have this ability. Yeah, it's 22 uh, manas for a, for a single mana, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, chaos device in... Heretic? Oh, these give you... Do these give you temporary armor or something? Oh my god. <laughs> you see, you probably all saw me shit myself just now. It's brilliant. Uh, pretty sure if I go in here, I'm going to want to use this. Obviously a teleporter. Ah, another part of the puzzle. Is this the one-ninth part of the puzzle? Stones have risen on the seven portals. Another one of those um, very old Wolfenstein type things that is now. I remember this. Yeah. It's a switch that sends you back. <laughs> Man, I keep, I keep talking about stuff and then shit happens and I'm like, this also, by the way, is amazing. It's in context of modern games, it's not that great. I fully appreciate that. But these stairs went up when we walked out of that room because we'd done something in the Guardian of Fire to allow it. A door opened on the Guardian of Ice. I mean, what? The stuff this has made possible. Um, even Quake, I'm pretty sure, was not this intense in the amount of scripting it used. Yeah, I got you. I knew I'd visit that thing again and beat the crap out of it eventually. So the Guardian of Ice, we need to now go back to. A door is open. I believe stones has risen just means that those stairs happened. You know, we, we pulled a switch and then, as a result, we were allowed to rise those stairs. Just as a, a part of a normal script. It's just... It's outstanding how much more that was. <coughs> Compared to even this game's predecessor, like Heretic, which obviously, as I said, added the inventory system here. Mysticon, I think, gives you full HP. 
Poison and Clefish and Quartz Fed. Like the Chaos Device and Heretic. Game saved. No worries. Uh, would. Oh, hello. Send you back to the level spawn. I mean, Hexen, the level spawn is different depending on how you arrive at the level. Which is also really cool, by the way. You can spawn at different points in the level, and then they connected all these parts of the level together by spawning you in different places, and then saying, by the way, turns out you've been in that place all this time. Oh, and you've got these bullshit enemies who can, can do an Apache helicopter strafe you. Attack against you. Right, you're all dead. Start wasting. You're dead, he says, and then gets immediately owned by one that was hiding. The AI on these things is pretty fun. So this looks scary as all shit. Yeah, there's a fire down there. Pick up some extra mana. Seems like a good idea. Interesting. So something's going to happen here, no doubt. I assume we can't reach that from here. I tend to pull things. In this game, there's not quite so much of that weird, um, you know, here's some strange texture, press it, it's a secret. There's not so much of that in this game. So all them torches, they, that's pretty new. All these uh, effects are pretty new. Just the, the particle effects themselves are sweet. Alright, we have to jump across, I guess. Uh, well, wish me luck. Hey! Oh, that's actually a really easy jump. Oh, you're supposed to shout parkour at me. So, uh, parkour! Interesting. There's another... There's an Afric down there. I'm trying to shoot the fuck at me. Huh. There we go. It's another one of these ethereal travel things. And I can't avoid picking up these crystal vials, which is kind of a pest. So now we're in the Guardian of Steel. The Guardian of Fire. It looks like the Guardian of Steel is in fact the Guardian of Fire. They seem to die faster when you, um... Oh, I just had to take those on the chin. When you drain their HP. Which uh, I'm down with. Right, so what's going to happen down here? This seems scary. Obviously we have to go around. That seems like it's going to push me off. Does it seem like it's going to push me off to you? Yeah, I think I remembered that, but at the same time, pretty obvious. Not doing anyone any favours. Probably could have jumped across that gap, to be honest. Look at all these things that are just scripted. You've never seen this shit before in your life. Don't even pretend. One half of the puzzle has been solved on the seven portals. So there's a... <laughs> That's cheeky. There's a puzzle of two halves, Brian. Not, not Brian. Brian's not here. Interesting. Now there's more Afris to uh, solve the problem of. And hopefully this will open. It did. Oh, we're back here. Splendid. Do we get to go in? Because there was something I wanted to see about picking up. Oh, is this mana? So might as well fill ourselves up on mana here. Now we're back here. There's another fire key door. Not realised. I'm guessing, yeah, it's just another one of these sort of antechambers to the downstairs bit, but uh, um, might as well make the most of it. I love the fact that they fight between each other as well. So, one half of the puzzle has been solved on the seven portals. That's where we were, so there's no point taking damage to go down there. This is where we originally were, with those Etins still hanging around on it, because they don't know what's good for them. So I guess now we just try and get home. There was a, a way to do that down here, so I guess we use it. If anything's changed in here. I don't know if it's changed or just spawn more enemies. These are now a light, which is also sweet. It seems so tame to be going, yeah, that's really cool. And of course, back when this was a pretty new game, there wouldn't have been any lighting effects on those lights. It wouldn't have had the glow. So it would have just been a bright room, but... Man. This is red as well. So, that... No, it's not. But that lighting effect's real. That's that's there from the start. That is not even faking. 
So every time an enemy spawns in, the number of enemies on the level to kill goes up. Uh, which I don't think is obvious. But also it tells us, basically, it's now telling us that the only two enemies left to kill. That was a bit of a dick move. Are the ones that I'm not really going to bother with. Okay. One half of the puzzle has been solved on the seven portal, so we need to find the other half of the puzzle. Has these gone up? No. I can hear Ettins. Probably behind that door. Um, there is some more stuff to do in the Guardian of Steel, which I believe is what it was alluring to by the fact that that original switch, the first half, was in the Guardian of Steel. So we'll try and find that. We can now basically beat the crap out of anything by draining its life, so I guess we try to do that as much as possible. I like the sound of this. I probably should save it more often just because I keep dying because I'm bad. But also, I'm kind of a little bit worried because I hope we don't have to... Act. I don't hope that that um, Wendigo bit is optional. You know? You know where I chickened out of the Wendigos before? In the Guardian of Ice? door that didn't give us the fire key that was just full of fucking wendigos and then started falling apart you know the the whole i remember this though um, when the, the ground started to crack and fall apart and we just died instantly because we got frozen to death by a wendigo which i didn't know was a thing honestly So there's uh, baddies in there. Oh, we... Holy shit. Can we just drain your life? Yeah, we can kill you. So when they've got their shield up, it ain't no fang. We haven't got the god... There's a steel key, isn't there? We need to find the steel key. Yeah. So where do you think we're going to find that shit? I mean, the implication is that shit's gone down in the Guardian of Steel, because... It was the Guardian of Steel in which we found the... Um, previous button. The thing that said half the puzzle is resolved. So we need to find the other half. I suspect it's quite a long way. From here to there. So that's now closed, yeah. So that means that over here, this one will be open. I guess that's a clue to what's happening downstairs. Oh, no, it's not open. Interesting. Well, I guess it's not down here then. We found everything we need to here. It's also quite new. If you're remembering games like Heretic, most of what you do, every every few levels you get a new gun, right? You get a new weapon. It wasn't really guns in Heretic, but you get the idea. It was a very much a sort of, it's setting you up for new weaponry, and then it sort of provides it. Very, uh, very cliche sort of way. This one doesn't do that. There's four weapons, one of which you have to piece together, so you have to find the parts. Um, oh, we have to do the Wendigos, don't we? <laughs> I don't wanna. Fine. Let's do it. Um, and you're not really fed them on a silver plastic. Like, we had to really work for this one. Although, I'm not sure if they show up in the same place um, for every character. As the fighter, you're new axe shows up on the uh, on the seven portals, the hub world there. So this is still barred, right? Yeah. As the cleric, it seems to have shown up where it show up, showed up, but I don't know if that's guaranteed. Right, so uh, we save here and we just keep going until we don't die. Hoping that these continue to move in a reasonable fashion and don't actually kill us. I'm very glad that I had my um, quartz flasks on just now. But this, all that scripted, never seen it before. Fucking marvellous. Every single. It's just a, a shitload of lifts, basically. But you can script how they go up and down. And of course, there's a C style programming language, so what you can do is sort of set delays and stuff. And have them do basically what you want them to do. Where did it go? Did we smash it? I think we smashed it. So if you go over here and get this steel key, no, if you go around here, no, somewhere there's a switch. 
Let's go here and pull this switch. This is great, watch this. Everything just falls apart and shifts. And then everything's hard. Excuse me while I concentrate. What? And then you go in here and it happens again, right? No, you pick it up and it happens again. I bet things spawn as well. Oh god. I don't believe we had slippery surfaces in the original engine as well. So that's also sweet. You have to wait for it because it could crush you. Yep. <clears throat> like that. Let's go. I guess our job here is to try and drain life faster than we lose it. That didn't work. <laughs> so get off that. There is time to get off that quick, and this will not kill you, so keep dodging. Yeah, try try doing the the cheap quake jump. Why don't you rocket jump? That'll get you out of the sticky situation. Alright, we lost a little bit of health, but not nearly as much as we did last time that happened. Ah, there's one. They don't they're not actually that strong, you just have to hit them. Which is the difficult part. So we pull this switch. We wait for it to happen. Everything shifts around with some very atmospheric sound effects. That's a different place. See that shit? That's fucking randomized. <clears throat> Love it. Random stuff. Just never used to happen in the gaming community. In the gaming world. Right? Ah, uh, run! Right, so now we're over here, which is kind of where I want to be. I'm hoping that this area doesn't change. I, I think this bit's static and it's just that bit that falls apart. But we'll see. Right, now we're in a slightly safer position than we were before. We're not that much safer because, of course, we're now on the edges of a lot of precipices. But, at the same time, we have a lot of enemies that will fight amongst themselves until I'm ready to go in there and steal their life. Wow. That didn't do that much damage. Maybe there's, like, champions versions of enemies. The Etins are fighting each other instead of beating up the Wendigos. Brilliant. I'm not sure if this is considered, like in a law sort of way to be unstable because a lot of the things that they had to do back in the day to produce these effects was to well they sort of assumed that you would give them the benefit of the doubt for these effects because of course back then it was the best anyone had ever seen let alone the best they could do so you know you assume that what's happened here is that the surface of the cave has shifted considerably you assume that uh, I guess I'm going to go this way. You assume that what has happened is there's been a, an earth rupture. How the fuck do we get over there? We just get from one to the other, do you think? I don't want to hit my head. Huh. We're okay. Whew. Um, but of course, like, these days we'd... Actually, didn't that used to shape the screen? Maybe it did. I don't know. Um, these days we just go... We'd have way better effects. The whole place would fall over. Your character would be stumbling. It would be sweet as all hell, right? But, you know, back then they they made the best. It's like a sort of a pantomime. You you knew what we were trying to achieve, and you sort of tried to make it happen with the technology that you had. And it, uh, please stop reflecting my own body's back at me. That's very rude. Good job. <laughs> Well done. I'm great at this game. Don't say otherwise. I dare you. I dare you to challenge me on that one. Okay, so we're going to um, probably deal with these centaurs slightly differently. Possibly by not actually shooting them when they've got their reflective shields up. Honestly, I was hoping to get in and drain them. But what was happening was that they were getting knocked back. Like that. And... Apparently my weapon does a lot more damage to myself than it does to anybody else. That's really hard. I'll use one of these against my better judgement. There's more as well. There's one there. I mean... Fuck! We can't drain that much health, so we're learning. <laughs> I've never really played as the cleric before because I didn't really enjoy it. But I guess it's important to try a game that you've never played, like try an old game in a new way. 
normally I just play as a fighter, but at the same time, I probably just um I put a cheat on or something. Because I was a kid. Or play on an easier version, an easier difficulty level. Stop putting your fucking shields up. Crying out loud. No. Good. You're dead. I mean, there's no point. Well, apart from the fact that this is weak source. I assume there's like randomized damage on on our weapon hits, at least on the mace, because sometimes I mean that hardly took any hits, and that was a centaur. Why is that not? Oh, this is the new one. This hasn't been opened before. I understand. So I'm scared of this. It's just a serpent, which is something I never thought I'd say before. I love how that thing in the background there had the same animation as every other portal that's ever opened. That's the first time I've ever seen it in all the times I've been playing this game. Like, this portal here was in the ground and opened up. And I've never seen that happen before. Never also seen the fact that there's a gap at the top. What? What is the point in that detail? Who is that for? Bring it on. I can show you my mace. Pointy end or the blunt one. Choice is yours to be making. But I know which one I prefer. Oh, Jesus. Now, the only thing they don't do is teleport, is follow you when, <laughs> when you teleport. Which is kind of nice. Um, what game am I thinking of where they do that? It's a dick game, I'll tell you that. It's playing a game recently as well. Like you run away. Oh, it's a uh, basically any Fallout game. If you if you zone when there's enemies following you, if they're close enough to the door that you zone through, they zone too. Ah! Well, at least we got this this time. Now we know that we can't do enough damage to. Oh, we've spawned on the other side. You see that? Which is why this all seems new. It's because it is. Incidentally, there are brown and green serpents. Now, I'm not sure whether these are brown or green, but one of them is way worse than the other one. Um, there's a lot more damage. I believe it may throw a different colour fireball. I mean, actual fireball. I'm pretty sure this thing's throwing fireballs right now. Honestly, I, I couldn't tell you. That was bad. That was really bad. I feel like I'm playing Isaac. <laughs> that was a bad dodge. Give me all your health. Thank you. Scared. Good thing dodged. I haven't seen that since Unreal, and Unreal was later. A lot later. I'm just gonna hit this. Now later on we'll get versions of these that shoot you from their shields, but I think we're okay with that for now at least. That's <laughs> spare me. That's dead. That means we'll be a little bit safer going in there in the future. Which is something we're going to have to do. We should save it. I think it saves. it's a quick save that happens anyway when you transition between levels, but... I don't want to trust that. Interesting. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. They all... Oh. Well, that happened. They're not dying faster. It's not fast enough. Don't you dare close your eyes. Please, just die. Just die. That's fine. There, there. That was a strange, scary noise. It seems to squeal when I uh, hit it in a certain way, which is not pleasant, not pleasant. If I die soon, I'll uh, try again in the next episode. Honestly, the timing of that is something I learned when I was a kid. <laughs> like when they uh, put up their thing. Oop. And then put it down again. Just to min-max it slightly. Do you know what? I'm going to go through this door in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you then. Shut up, serpent.